gentlemen, and welcome to this new episodic kind of thing that I'll do every once in a while. Um, uh, what have I called it? I can't even remember what I called it. Ask Kieran, that's right. Anything game related, you can send me an email down the bottom, still at spawn at gmail.com. For the very first week, we are going to be talking about the Kinect and the PlayStation Move. Uh, I've given my thoughts on these many times, but some people still don't understand, so this question comes from Pete. And here we go. Uh, he wants to know why I think that the Kinect is better than the PlayStation Move. Now, I never said that the Kinect is better than the PlayStation Move. What I simply said is that I think that the, that the Kinect will sell and make a lot more money than the PlayStation Move. And here's why. Uh, I think that the, the, the campaign of pricing for the PlayStation Move is highly um, confusing to those casual gamers that it's obviously targeted for. Uh, some games require two of the, the one with the orbs or the dildo controller. Um, and you can't, you have to buy them separately at $50 each, there's $100, you need a navigation controller which is $30, and, and it switches, because some games you might only need one navigation controller, you might not even need a navigation controller, other games you might need a dildo controller, other games you might need two, it's very inconsistent. And apparently some of the games don't even use the orb on top, they just, they just sense where your hand is, and they don't actually track the orb, which is... You know, that's too technical for me, but that's what happens. Uh, so I think that to the, the average casual gamer or the mum and dad that's going to buy this for the family to replace the Wii, um, I don't think they will, you know, fully understand it and there'll be a lot of unhappy children at Christmas that need two navigation, two dildo controllers and they haven't got them. You know, that's, that's what I think. And I think that, you know, people say the Kinect is really expensive. Well, you know, if it's 150 US. Um, so if you if you kind of do the math, it's really uh, it's you know the PlayStation Move could be bordering on that. It's, it's probably not as much, um, but you know two fifty dollars, one hundred and thirty dollars, you know to play most games. I would think um, another reason why I think Connect will do better because the Connect knows what it's doing. Microsoft know all right. We need this target audience, while the PlayStation Move is saying we need this target audience, but we don't want to leave out the hardcore gamers. So maybe if we throw in a little bit of updates and upgrades, you know you can play SOCOM Heavy Rain. Um, that wizard one, whoa, what's it called? The one where you go like that to cast spells. Fuck, what's it called? Um, I'll think of it. No, can't think of it. Sorcery, that's it. Um, you know, you can play hardcore games like that. And I think that that, that, um, that won't work very well because I know, you know, me as a hardcore gamer, I don't want either of them. You know, I prefer this thing, and I'm sure there's people out there that prefer, prefer, prefer a keyboard and people that prefer another controller you know, that don't want to go like this, you know, but the, the, the demographic is certainly there, the Wii is sold more than the PlayStation and Xbox combined, more likely. Um, so the, the demographic is certainly there, but I think that Sony are going about it the wrong way, and I think Microsoft are going about it the right way. Now, a lot of people, when I say this, always call me a fanboy. I really don't think that I'm a fanboy. Um, you can say what you want, but, you know, when you, when you put it down to, you know, what's going to sell better, like, I don't think the Kinect is better than the PlayStation Move. I don't care that it might be laggy, I don't care that it's got children games, I don't care. I'm not going to buy it, it doesn't concern me. The problem is that all these hardcore gamers think that if I don't buy the Kinect, I'm going to be left out in the rain, which is certainly not true. It's optional, you don't have to buy it, you don't have to buy a new Xbox 360 to play it. Um, you just need to... Because the new Xbox 360 supplies the power for the Kinect, um, but the old 360 you'd need uh, a power adapter. Which, when Microsoft sends you a power adapter, they don't send you a power adapter, they send you a fucking power house, which is about this big. Uh, so hopefully it'll be small. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of criticisms for the Kinect. Uh, it's laggy, it's all this kind of stuff. But, you know, I think that... And it's got shitty games, which it has got shitty games, they're not even games, but that's the point, you know, that's the casual audience, the casual audience aren't going to sit there and want to play games like Dragon Age, Battlefield, Civilization, NCIS, even though that's a DVD, but I don't care. You know, um, so I definitely think that Microsoft are going about it the right way, Sony I'm a little bit iffy on, um, but the, another problem is, this is what I have with both of them, I think that... Prohibirals, for I can't say the fucking word, but you know what I mean, is going to be absolutely overloaded for the, the PlayStation Move. Buy this and put the Move connector, Move controller in, and it'll become a gun, it'll become a steering wheel, it'll become all this, and I think they'll make a shitload of money off that. Apparently, with the Connect, you can, like, scan things, so if I put this up to the Connect, it'll scan it, but I'm highly doubtful that that'll ever work, and I think that you'll need to buy the, you know, the Connect skateboard, the Connect gun, the Connect this, 
and that's where they make a lot of money off, you know, shitty cardboard uh, uh, add-ons. So that's, you know, I'm not going to buy either of them, because I really don't want them. I haven't got six feet. Now, apparently for the connector, you need six feet between the television and yourself. I haven't got that kind of space. The, can the move doesn't interest me at all. Um, so I'm not going to buy either, but I still think that the Kinect will sell better. Not that it is better, I think it will sell better than the PlayStation Move. Because I don't think Sony are focused on what demographic they want, and they're just trying to please everyone at the same time. But, nonetheless, and also, yeah, the PlayStation Move, it's been done before. You know, the, the, um, you know, the Wii does it. And a lot of people say, well, the Kinect is just the same as the iToy. Well, in in certain respects, I suppose you're right. But, you know, the iToy is nowhere near as powerful. You know, like, even if you don't like the Kinect or you don't like the PlayStation Move, you've still got to admit that the, the technology is pretty amazing um, to do what they do. So, the technology is there. It's pretty cool. Uh, voice commands for the Kinect probably won't work worth a shit because, you know, we all know what voice recognition is like on Vista or Windows 7. It doesn't work doesn't pick up an accent, so apparently it's only going to be available in American English for the Americans with the American accent. Not going to work in any other country on launch, apparently. Uh, so that's a big letdown. Plus, you know, who wants to pay $150 or $200 Australian to go like this, just to move it? I mean, it's not hard. You just turn the controller on and flick the, the joystick. No, it's not hard. I don't know why people are saying, I only want to buy the Kinect for voice recognition. Why? And also, if they can do voice recognition, why can't they just update it so you can talk into this, and it'll pick it up? See? I'm thinking. So, um, again, that's the end of the video. I've answered that question, I hope. Uh, again, I have to stress that I don't think one is better than the other. I think one will sell better than the other, which is what will happen anyway. Um, but nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to send me a question for the next... Ask Kieran, uh, just send a message, send an email to still at sport at gmail.com and you'll be featured on the next show. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Au revoir.